morning. I'm continuing my walk along the North Downs Way. Today I'm in Oxted and I'm going to walk to Oxford. <laughs> Gone under the M25 and now this is where I finished last time. The path comes off the, the road here. So now I'm back on the North Downs Way. It is, it's a beautiful morning. It is a beautiful morning. <laughs> Quite uh, looking forward to today on the walk. It's a bit chilly at the moment, but uh, yeah, I'm planning on it warming up a little bit, getting a bit better. I think it's all sunny and cloud and uh, a bit breezy. And I'm really banking on it being a bit drier than it was last time. Last time I did it, it was the last section I did, it was really muddy. So I'm hoping this time, oops, sorry, that it's going to be a bit drier. Not at the moment, but it's quite promising to be honest. So, starting with an uphill. Here we go. You see the bird of prey hovering in the sky there. This is the M25, that's Oxted over there. All people off to work and that. Uh, and that's my path, it goes that way. So I'm heading in an east direction. And apparently that's the Oxted Downs. It's a really strange contrast. I'm walking along here. It's very peaceful. Birds singing. It's dew on the grass. The green of spring like the bushes and the trees is starting to come out so there's that fresh greenness and it's uh carries all that life and freshness and gentleness of nature and then a few hundred yards to the right of me there's all the noise and clatter of the m25 and all the lorries and cars and that all hacking by going along their way it just I don't know it's just a very strange kind of contrast and mixture and I think there are a few sections of the North Downs Way and I walked along it it's been like that you know it's been just that real contrast the greatness of nature and the noisiness of modern life. up this uh, track here up the side through the woods it's really lovely I don't know I can't see them particularly well but there's, there's bluebells all up there in the woods and then the sun shining through the freshness of the spring green leaves it's fantastic this is some of spring at its best I said before, I think the mark of the North Downs Way is, is the woods, but they're definitely at their best today. I keep going on about it, don't I? <laughs> the freshness. Ah, oh, spring at last. So good. I've left the, the motorway fair bit, I don't know if you can see it down there, it looks a bit blocked up going westward, 
but our paths have kind of separated so it's more peaceful up here although there's a few sort of major minor roads around so it's still a bit of traffic noise there's a farm down there with a massive amount of cows a big herd of Frisians a massive amount of bluebells in these woods I suppose because they're out of the way um, there's no one to disturb them so they just grow as bluebells do I'm uh, just south of Tatsfield, just gone past Parkwood Golf Course. At the moment I'm walking down a quite a little lane. There's quite a few large houses down here, which uh, obviously um, are in the upper price package, shall we say. Nice place to live though. I suppose it's quite convenient, you know, not too far away from the motorway, but yeah, it's quite peaceful up here, so I guess for some people it's quite ideal, and it's a very restful day, wind's a bit chilly, but it's alright, so I think so far this part of the North Downs way has been um, quite chilled out really. There's been a bit of up and down hill, but not as drastic as it was last time. I think sort of come up onto the sort of top side of the, the downs and uh, it's more or less kind of stuck to that. So it's made it quite easy walking really. Um, Of that, I'm guessing I'm now in Kent. I've just come across this bit of woodland and it is absolutely chock a block with bluebells. So beautiful. Look at all those. Definitely a bit of English woodland. <laughs> well, if you're planning to do the North Downs Way, mm, might be a bit late now, but <laughs> definitely, definitely do it this time of year. It's just 
That's better. The mark of it has definitely been bluebells in these woods all the time. I mean, this, this is the best. Found this on the ground. Still warm. I don't know if it's a pheasant's egg or what it is. Or if it's fallen out somewhere. It's a bit sad, doesn't it? I had a look around but I couldn't see a nest anywhere. That's a bit sad that really. Felt quite heavy, so. I guess there must have been a fairly mature chick in it and it felt warm as well. So, it's only recently just come out of the nest. Hmm. Still that flint in the ploughed field. That's a mark of up on the North Downs, I think. On the Downs, we find quite a lot of old flint mines from prehistoric times. And in some places you get houses, old houses that are built out of flint, which is a mark of southeast, I suppose you would say. I don't even quite make it out. There's a big posh house down there. Zooming in. There we are. That's quite an entrance, isn't it? <laughs> See a place? Very spectacular. Another plus about spring. Is all the birds are singing. That's a beautiful accompaniment as you're walking along. Oh, I just found this bench and it's got this view. What could be better for lunch, eh? Well, I just sat down to eat my lunch and it started to rain. I think it's only a passing kind of light shower. Well, there's a majestic beech tree. I think that road down there is what I've got to walk along. There's signs up there saying safety advice and there's like an alternative route with less road walking but being what I am I decided I want to stick to the official route. Well we're stuck between two roads now. I think that's the M25 on the right and then this road which I'm not really sure what it is. It seems to be fairly busy. Fortunately, there's a footpath on it now. So there's only a sort of short stretch of the road, which was a bit iffy. It wasn't too bad. Now crossing the M25. That's the last time I cross the M25. Now south of it. And it turns north up towards Dartford. So, parting company with the M25 for good. But, somewhere to the south of me is the M26. And I think that kind of um, accompanies the route for a little while. But that will be for another day, not today. I'm not far from. Oxford now. It's 
So there we are, one and a half miles to go. Sun's come back out now. Just decided to rain for on my lunch. <laughs> Think maybe I don't know. Probably Oxford be I'll have to stop there and finish it. I'm gonna get to the end of me. Run. Let's go and pass this hotel. It's got lots of really beautiful tulips. And seems to have some kind of Eastern theme about it. There's a Buddha there and there was a elephant a bit further back. There's loads of tulips over there. Look at all them. Path going down into or track road going down into Oxford. So we're nearly, nearly at the end of our journey. This is Oxford High Street. We're passing through now. I'm going to walk up to the train station, and then that's where I'm going to finish my walk today on the North Downs way. Well, I've stopped off in the entrance way to the parish church of St. Bartholomew because it's about to rain. No, it's not. It is raining. I just need somewhere dry to sit and eat my lunch. So I hope if the vicar comes by there full of Christian charity. Well, I presume it was the vicar who just dropped by. And she was fine, very nice. Even offered to give me a lift back to uh, Oxted, I presume. But I didn't feel really I could do that. Be a bit much, wouldn't it? Anyway, I think it's brightening up, going to stop raining, so. so. I suppose while I'm here, it's a good opportunity just to talk about the walk. I'm, I'm going to walk to the station so that'll be the end. Today, um, it's not been a hard walk. It's quite a lot of it's been level ground, more up on the tops of the uh, of the downs I think. Not a lot of up and down. Very beautiful. I think overall I would describe it as refreshing. It's just so nice seeing all the the fresh green of the grass and the trees and the bushes and the flowers coming out and bluebells. I've never seen so many bluebells in all my life. Fantastic. They were, yeah, overwhelming. It's worth coming up here to walk along there just to just to see the bluebells. Although I think you can hear the M25 almost all the time. It's not too bad, you know, it's like far off in the distance, occasionally you get nearer to it and then it's a bit, um, yeah, it's loud obviously, but most of the time it's a bit in the distance. And there is kind of, um, you can hear planes going over occasion, things like that, but I wouldn't say it's really disturbing. Lots of birdsong, I guess because it's spring, they're all busy, um, and that's been really beautiful as well. So I would say, yeah, it's been a refreshing walk overall so that's that part of the North Downs way done anyway thanks for being with me on this walk thanks for watching hope you like what you see if you're thinking of doing North Downs way hope it's helpful and uh, I'll see you next time so yeah take care enjoy your walks so this is Otford station that's the end of my walk on the North Downs way today the path carries on up the road, up that hill, along with the road, up the road.